Welcome. This is our first step on a journey, and we hope you join us. Purposeful leadership is an idea that was downloaded to me about five months ago in the latter part of 2017. It first came to me when I gathered my advisory board in 2009, right before I launched a radio show called God's Work in Progress on the Faith Radio Network here in the Upper Midwest. I didn't call it purposeful leadership at that time, but the three elements were on my mind, and I didn't know they were about to become a single idea, but in late 2017, it came to me, and I've been pursuing it ever since. What I want to do today is lay the foundation for what I mean by purposeful leadership. Well, the Great Commission says that we are to preach the good news, tell people about Jesus as we go through our lives, to teach and demonstrate to others as we go the life that we found in Christ. We are ambassadors for Christ, and our lives are the proof. Purposeful leadership is a way of living that incites transformation in people and organizations to which they belong. You know, there are only 2.5 billion followers of Jesus in a world of 7.5 billion people. So there's a lot to do. So let me begin by giving you a brief overview of who we are. We are the Foundation for Excellence in Faith and Work, a 501c3 nonprofit. We have existed as a nonprofit since October 2012. I began my ministry in the marketplace the day after I accepted Jesus in 1985. At that time, I in a sense challenged God. I said, God, if this Christianity stuff's going to work, it has to work in my whole life or I'm not doing it. I immediately began to test out this new understanding I had about life. In my job, I did it because I said to myself, I spend most of my time there. I was with General Mills at the time in Florida, and I was a management instructor for the Olive Garden and Red Lobster, which were both owned by General Mills at the time. Olive Garden was actually created by General Mills. So I immediately began the process of bringing Christian principles into my management training presentations, Things like, uh, love your neighbor as yourself, and uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And that was the beginning for me. And by the way, it was really well received. So I was getting a lot of positive feedback about bringing Christian principles in. I wasn't quoting chapter and verse. I was just talking about it. Here's a bit about our journey. Our calling for the Foundation for Excellence in Faith and Work, is very simple. We want to help the church, that's the people that follow Jesus, to reclaim and restore the amazing, prosperous, broken world that Jesus died to redeem. Now, the world is amazing and prosperous. We've never had better technology. We've never had more wealth. We've never had more opportunity or more or better medical breakthroughs. We're reaching for the stars. We have innovation like never before. And we've never had fewer poor than we have right now. But the world is also broken. We've never been more divided. We've never been more self-absorbed. We've never been more disconnected from our Christian roots. Never more greedy. Never more short-term in our thinking. And in some ways, the world has never been more dangerous than it is right now. The United States is no longer a Christian nation. Christianity is just another religion. The moral relativists and the pluralists have won. The world needs help. Jesus knew it before we got to this point. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He loved the world. So then, what do we do? The answer is purposeful leadership. Purposeful leadership can be done by any follower of Christ and is in fact meant to be done by his followers. It is achieved when any follower of Jesus becomes and lives out God's plan for their life. It's that simple. And God's plan is based on who you are and how he's made you. We've all read the verses from Jeremiah 29. You know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. 
In Ephesians 2.10, you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he's prepared in advance for you to do, and many, many more. You see, you're unique. There is not another one like you. Your brain, your fingerprints, the iris of your eyes, your DNA identify you uniquely. In fact, the content, extent, and depth of your skills and talents are unique as well. In fact, your work has a unique signature and you are identifiable by the work you do. You are unique and absolutely necessary. And because of this uniqueness, you are irreplaceable. It is for these reasons that God has a specific plan for your life. And he has made you to be and become a purposeful leader. Now, becoming a purposeful leader is comprised of parts that work together. The first part, and it is the foundation, is to discover and live your life's core purpose. The second part is the development of the fruit of the Spirit in your life, which is the character of God. Now, in this installment, I'm going to talk about life's core purpose, and we'll talk about how you can begin this journey. Now, your life's core purpose is an assessment that we've developed, and it is being distributed in universities, churches, and businesses throughout the United States. It is composed of the two most powerful words you'll ever know about yourself. One of these words is your core competence. The other is your core passion. Together, they equal your life's core purpose. As I said, it's your life's core purpose, not your job's core purpose. In other words, when you do what you're great at, pointed at causing what you really care about, You live a meaningful, effective, joyful life. Your core competence is what you're great at, and it is in your head. Your core passion, what you really care about, is in your heart. Purpose occurs when the head and the heart work together. This is the first step to becoming a purposeful leader. This purpose I've just described is in the Bible, specifically cited in Paul's letter to the Philippians in chapter 2, Verse 13, for it is God working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. The desire is your core passion and the power is your core competence. Your life's core purpose is based on how you've been created by God in this way. When you identify and live your life's core purpose, you live the full and satisfying life that Jesus came to give us. When you find a job in which your life's core purpose is in play, you do that job for free. So here's step one. The journey begins with life's core purpose. Podcast listeners, you right now listening to this podcast get $15 off when you enter the promo code YOURLCP. That's Y-O-U-R-L-C-P at checkout. To begin your journey toward purposeful leadership, go to video.lifescorepurpose.com That's video.lifescorepurpose.com Again, that's video.lifescorepurpose.com No apostrophe in there. And enter the promo code YOURLCP That's Y-O-U-R-L-C-P at checkout to save $15. After you find your Life Score Purpose, You'll scroll down and see there's a free bonus video that helps you begin to use your life's core purpose in your life. So you're beginning a lifelong journey to purposeful leadership. See you down the road. I'm Jeff Pelletier.